So you don't even look that old, and I know I don't, but. <laughs> But I, I had this revelation, my, my youngest son, John, uh, John was, uh, John is 20 and he's in college, and, and the Lord has been dealing with John and speaking to him and talking to him about some things, and, and John has a desire and a call in the ministry, he feels that God's called him in the ministry, and uh, so John and I were uh, going to do some research together. One of the first studies we did was on the book of Acts, and I asked John, tell me what you see in the book of Acts, what's happening in the book of Acts. And this is what John said. Now, a young guy, probably 19 at this time, it's been a year or more, maybe it could have been 18, he said, it's, it's so amazing what they pick up. He, we'd only gotten to like the 34th chapter. He said in the book of Acts, what seemed to be the most common were the people spent a lot of time in fellowship. That's right. And seeking for the Holy Spirit's guidance. Yep. Amen. Hmm. <laughs> our of our mouth of Yep. Amen. <clears throat> Recently, John and I were, were doing another research. We were watching some of these uh, some of these documentaries of what God's doing in the world today. And uh, after being in ministry for a very very long time, when when that was over. John and I were talking, and this is what I concluded, and John agreed that he fell into the same thing. I don't love people. I thought I love people, but I don't love people. And I'm, I'm asking God to, to help me with that. Yes. You see, when we have been in ministry for a very long time, we can learn to minister without really even giving very much thought to the people. Ooh, ooh. For, for, for some time now, I, I make it a point before I go minister, I ask the Lord, help me to love the people. Lord, would you make me an expression of your love? Hallelujah, Jesus. Yes. And I want you to know tonight that the Father has already written down in his book a plan for your life. He has a special yes, plan Jesus. and it's a Hallelujah, plan to, to bless you Amen. and it's a plan to keep the enemy Amen. back away yes, from you. Jesus. But it's Hallelujah. going to take that common thread of faith. Hallelujah. We have to realize that the Father yes. really does care about us. Yes. He really Amen. does love us. His love for Jesus. us has Hallelujah. been so strong Amen. that he gave his son. You say, well, you know, Pastor, you've been doing this for a long time. You really got it together. Oh, I wish I did. <laughs> you know, it, 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 it was eye-opening to me when I had to admit I don't love people. I've never really given it that much thought. I would tell you I love people. I like being around people. I like hanging out with people. I like having fellowship. With, but do I love them? Do I love them enough to stop and pay attention to them? Good God. Good you see, God. that's what Jesus did that's when he right. saw the prostitute about to be stoned. He stopped what he was doing and he went over and he spent some time with her and he made the situation better. When he saw the woman, and, you know, well, he in the spirit, he saw this woman coming and sitting on the well and he got there before he did, but she did, but he sat there waiting for her so that he could just let her know, you're not invisible, you're really somebody and you're somebody important. You see, everyone that we meet is important to God. Amen. Everyone we meet is important to God. Surely, surely, the Bible says without a doubt, Amen. Without a doubt. Hallelujah. Now, the third verse. He will cover me with his feathers, feathers. and under his wings. Under, <laughs> under his wings. We got it up here, right? Under his wings shall I trust. His truth Amen. shall be my shield and my buckler. I heard a story one time of a little old lady. She had been, she had heard some teaching on this chapter, and she was trying to memorize the scripture, but she hadn't quite got it one time, and uh, hadn't got quite it, quite got it yet. And she was at an ATM one day, and someone came up behind her and told her, "Give me, you know, give me all the money that you've got, and I'm going to take all the money." And he put this gun to her back, and she said, "You can't bother me. I'm covered with feathers." <laughs> she didn't have 
the scripture just right. Then she had trust in the scripture. Amen. And the man ran away. He was smart. <laughs> Sometimes we may not get it just right. It doesn't really matter as much as what we say as it does the condition of our heart. And Amen. she said, How you can't that? bother me. I'm covered with feathers. Amen. You see, this really is a, a, a reality. Amen. The Father has given everything to you and has placed a protection over you. And that blood of Jesus Christ has been applied to your life. Hallelujah, Jesus. And not only to your life, but to those that are your loved ones, those that you pray for. You just have to claim it and walk in the promise. His truth shall be my shield and my buckler. We know what that is, right? It's like that shield that, that protects us from the darts of the enemy. That's right. And that, like that seat belt that holds you firm in the car, right? Whew. I will not be afraid of the terror by night, nor the arrow that flies by day. Hallelujah. Though the pestilence that walk in darkness or destruction that waiteth at noonday. Terror by night. The era that flies by day. There's no need for you to fear. Amen. You see, there may be, and, and, and possibly will be, I pray there will not, there may be a tax in America. And you live in, in, in an area uh, uh, that uh, it, it, it represents America. That's right. And people would love to destroy this area. Yes. But you see, the Bible says you don't have to be afraid of the terror by night, the error that flies by day. You need to speak this over your children. And even when they're not present, when you're spending time with God in the morning, you need to just call out the names of those kids and say, Lord, Hallelujah. you're with my children. I will not be afraid of any attacks against them. I will not be afraid of sickness and disease. That's the pestilence. That's right. I will not be afraid. Why? You see, I'm not just a man. I'm more than just human. I'm a child of God. Right. You see, the actual blood of Jesus Christ is inside of me. That Holy Spirit, that same power that raised Jesus from the dead dwells inside of me and inside of you. Hallelujah. Yes, Jesus. That God. makes you more than just being human. Yes, Jesus. You Hallelujah, see, God. the enemy cannot come against you, but you have to have faith to activate what the Word of God says. Hallelujah. And God. one scripture that or, or that chapter we call the, you know, for warfare where Paul talks about in the book of Ephesians, the only weapon of offense that we have is the Word of God, the That's sword right. of the Spirit, That's which right. is the Word of God. And when we begin to speak the Word of God in faith, the enemy will back down Hallelujah. because he cannot come against the Word of God. Hallelujah. The Word of God Hallelujah. represents the blood of Jesus, yes, and you Jesus. can't Hallelujah. cross that line. Hallelujah. You can't cross that line. Let me share some more. A thousand shall fall at my side, ten thousand at my right hand, but it won't come near me. I read a story the other day of a missionary some years ago. I don't remember what area she was in, but she was in an area where terrorists was coming in and they had evacuated the town that she was in and the Holy Spirit told her she was not to leave. All the people in the village or in the town left, except her. And when the, when, the, when the terrorists came into this town, they went into every home in that town and destroyed it, except for one, her house. Her testimony was that as they walked through the city streets, she stood in the door of her house and watched them and no one came near her. You are not just human. That's true, amen. You see, you are 
an individual with purpose. Hallelujah, amen. You're an individual that, that your days have already been recorded. Hallelujah, amen. Your, your, your victories have already been written down. Hallelujah, You've got to go back to that first part, and you have to trust in what the Word of God says. Amen. You Jesus. have to hold on to that, that, that Holy Spirit. That same Holy Spirit that raised Jesus from the dead is inside of you. I want to kind of get through some of this. I'm going to share some more things with you. Hallelujah. <clears throat> a thousand shall fall at my side and ten thousand at my right hand, but it will not come near me. Only with my eyes will I see and behold the reward of the wicked. Because I have made the Lord, which is my refuge, even my habitation, there shall no evil befall me, neither will any plague come near my dwelling. Read this over your children. Amen. Read this over your home. Amen. We're getting into some times of uncertainties, and you need to know where to stand. This is what the Holy Spirit told me to share with you. Hallelujah. You see, it may seem like your family's falling apart. It may seem like you're overwhelmed. It may seem like there's more coming against you than you can bear. But that's not right. That's not true. God is with you. Amen. God is with you. <clears throat> Only with my eyes will I see and behold the reward of the wicked. Because I have made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high my habitation, there shall no evil befall me, neither shall any plague come near my dwelling. Now listen to this one. He has given his angels charge over me to keep me in all my ways, and they will bear me up in their hands lest I would stop my toe, dash my foot against the stone. Folks, we need to walk in the promises of God. That's a good word. Amen. Amen. This is what the word says. That's what it says. Hallelujah. Do you remember when Jesus took, I mean, when Satan took Jesus up on the pinnacle, up on the temple and told him, throw yourself off? And, and so Satan began to, 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 to talk to him about scripture. He began to quote scripture to Jesus. This is the one you drew from. He said, throw yourself down. For the Bible says... He has given his angels charge over you. They keep you in all your ways. I left you up in my hands as you'd ask for against me. You see, Satan knew the promise. And he was trying to use it against Jesus to get Jesus to do the wrong thing. Because this is, but I'm going to tell you, folks, when you're doing the right thing, he gives his angels charge over you. Amen. Hallelujah. He gives his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. They'll left you up in the hand, lashing, cast your foot against the strong. 